All right, so today we are doing something a little different. Uh, I have a very special guest with me today, Alexa. Surprise, and motherfucker. Alexa is also a musician like myself. She's also a very talented guitarist. So you're going to be getting the perspective of two guitarists with today's reactions. So uh, I guess we're going to start off with however you... you know, I don't know how to pronounce this. You you can read the description and it'll have the damn band name in the uh, all right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna jump into this. Alright, so um here we go. So as I said before, we are nail blue viscaris, we come all the way from Melbourne, Australia. Yeah. We have been wanting to come here to the US for so long and it's just absolutely amazing to have so many of you here and really see us. So thank you guys so much, we really, really appreciate it. We have one more song for you guys tonight, but before we get into that, over in that back corner over there is uh, our merch desk, and about five minutes after this show, we're going to be hanging out over there, so please come have a drink with us, say hello, and we will do our best to come back and see you guys again as soon as we can. That's pretty cool. This one's off our album, Portal of Eye. This one's called, And Plague Flowers, The Kaleidoscope. Is the drummer wearing a GoPro on his shirt? Yeah, <laughs> GoPro on his shirt. That is, that is so. I, I wonder if we're gonna see any no like, yeah. yeah, huh? Live playthrough. That would be awesome, actually. Yeah. Depending on where this goes. <laughs> that's that's the 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 key there. Depending on where it goes. Well, I'm sure it's gonna be awesome either way. We just don't know like where it's gonna go at this point. Right, I mean the the musicianship, the uh, like, just everything. It, they clearly are talented. Right. You know uh, the song structure, everything is great. Just not at all anywhere close to what I was expecting. Yeah. But I mean, th this came recommended by like a few people, so mm -hmm. I was like, kind of thinking, oh, this is gonna be some like, like black metal or something, yeah. or like you know just something like real just aggressive right out the gate like just furious it's like that is not what this is what if it never even gets there that would i don't know that that might be disappointing or not unless yeah. unless it just gets really like progressive and experimental to the point that like you can't help but love it yeah. i would be okay with that but if it get, if this gets heavy i'm going to be really excited <laughs> The 
singer looks like he belongs in a black metal band. Okay, so now I didn't see that coming. I didn't see it coming, but it didn't like. It wasn't abrupt for me. No, it definitely it went wasn't. In, went in real smooth. Yeah, I was expecting more of a. Uh, I, I was thinking just based off everything we heard up to that point, there was going to be more of like a. Like Opeth sound, or like you said, more like a new Ishan kind of sound. Like yeah. it was going to hit those elements, but. Uh, it's funny that you said Ishan because when he first started that scream, mm -hmm. that sounded like an Ishan scream. Yeah. And then that whole the other guy doing the holding that long note clean behind mm -hmm. the scream, that was just that was really cool. It's like elements of like more progressive like Opeth sound yeah. mixed with black metal. Yeah. So that was that's kind of cool. They've got that kind of when you were talking about the tone and kind of black metal -y, it reminds me of. of a lot of Icelandic black metal bands like mm -hmm. people like uh, Nagura Bunjet or Bunjet however you pronounce it and uh, Denfari so yeah good stuff, good stuff. I'm, I'm digging this So, especially during the, like, growl, scream parts, the chord progressions on, on the guitar is definitely, like, I, I hate to say, but cliche black metal. <laughs> cliche black metal. I mean, it's, it's like your standard, like, you want to play black metal, play these yeah. chords. You know, it, it, but it sounds great. Like... This is this is progressing in a very uh, I, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but I'm getting more and more into it as it progresses. Yeah. This is a uh, lot of layers, but there's like the traditional underneath layer because the guitar is not like hitting you in the face. Right. It's that black metal traditional layer, but then you having like the other stuff on top of it is more progressive, especially with the clean and dirty vocals. And then the violin. Yeah, the violin, that, which I think is like a really good, really good part of this. So that last little section with the drummer, mm -hmm. where he's like hitting those like with the mm -hmm. double bass. Yeah. It's like, what? Ishan, calm down. <laughs> Talking about my cat, not the former singer, remember? Okay, so here we go.
そちらもすいませんはい。Where they're like battling back and forth. <sighs> But that. Mm, mm. I think it's because it just like it just fits. Yeah. That's a weird. It's very weird and vague description, but it just like it fits. <laughs> no, I, I totally. I, I get what you're saying. It's, uh. I don't know. It's, it's like. I'm trying to think of how to word it. It's not like some screeching, like just yeah, like shreds, balls to the shredding. wall, shred. Right. It just, it, it flows. It's smooth, but it still has this like severe complexity to it. But it just like, it complements everything else going on rather than like just overbearing. Yeah. Good stuff. Oh, I kind of wish I could put it like that. Oh, she can. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Not that good. But... Windmills. <laughs> No violin now. He's just up there、There's、shaking、not. it. He's like, fuck this. I'm a, if I can't windmill, I'm going to shake it. <laughs> I mean, it is the last song of their set, apparently.、Yeah. And he's just like having a good time. I, I'll support it. Okay, now it just looks like he's jacking off. <laughs> 
So, kind of what I'm, I'm taking from this band, what, what it feels like to me is, it's, it's, it's not necessarily a black metal band, yeah. but it's like those people who love black metal and were originally like, you know, or like old school black metal scene, but like grew up. Yeah. And it's like, they progressed outside of that, that box. They don't want to be, you know, just like you know typical metal elitist black metal snobs they're like hey there's other genres of metal there's other genres of music there's all this like classical stuff there's jazz there's you know we don't have to limit ourselves we're older we're more mature now we don't have that lifestyle right we we can make whatever we want but they still are rooted 
they have those black metal roots and that's what it feels like to me it, it feels very much like ishan like opeth yeah like that kind of vibe so that's that's what i, I usually think about ishan and opeth is like black metal for older people who grew up <laughs> right <laughs> And it's like, that's the same feeling I got from this band. They were absolutely amazing. I am still in complete and utter disbelief and shock that I did not know about this band. Right, that seems like something like up your alley too. Yeah. <laughs> like, that seems something that you would tell me about. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 don't even, I don't even understand. Like, it makes no sense to me. Yeah. But... I liked it a lot. There were so many good moments in there from, like, each like aspect vocals um the traditional orchestral instruments the violin and the guitar and then the bass and even just the drums like everyone had their moment yeah they definitely yeah every everybody did like totally have certain parts where they just kind of shined a little yeah. bit and i mean like nobody was like drowning anyone else out not at all like that was mixed Whoever the sound guy was for that show, perfectly. I, I wish that, like I, every show that I've ever played had had, had that sound guy. Right. It was just like when the solo parts came, like you can tell they were playing a solo, but it wasn't like loud and like obnoxious, like shreddy. Even it wasn't shreddy, anyways. But like right. it, it did what it was supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, it just it, it blended into the mix perfectly. Yeah. And, that never happens. No. Oh, well, I mean, no. it, it happens, but not not in sound that good. Right. Good God. It's good, good stuff. Thank, thank you uh, to the few people that suggested that song, because I have now learned of a new band that I am going to research further, because I like that yeah. a lot.